Oh man, oh man. Oh man, oh man. Oh, of course it just starts that way. This is it! This is... <laughs> wow! Wow! Well, look at that. Yump 2 is a completely different beast than Yump the first. I don't know if this is accurate to the kind of things we're gonna be doing, but maybe from what I heard. So yeah, like, okay, so here on Skull Cal, this is Yump 2. Some people might be surprised that I'm so willing to play this game considering, you know, what you might have heard about it, but I feel like I need to take a second or two to speak about Yum One to me was an extremely important ROM hack that I absolutely had to play. And that like to me personally was very important that it existed. To be quite simple, like there is an amount of creativity in Yum the First that you just don't otherwise find anywhere. It is basically the only, like, anarchist hack out there that exists, which sounds really foolish, but, like, like think about it. Like, there's just no rules apply. They just, just do whatever you want, even if it looks, no, no matter what it looks like. You don't care what people think about it. And that's a level of creativity that you just never see anywhere. Almost. And to me, that was extremely... I know this it upset some people that I love Yump, but to me, it is literally one of the most important hacks out there. Which is why I feel like I need to play Yum too. Sure, the design of those is a little bit different, but you still, from what I've heard, still have that sense of... It's, it's, an, it's an... You know, it's anarchy. It's, we do what we want, who cares what anyone else wants? We're just putting ourselves out there and deal with it. And that's just so awesome to me. And like, you know, when I praise Yum the First, people are like, Yeah, well, you know, Yum 38, what do you think about that? And you know what? Two things. First of all, I made, I made uh, Gold Silver a lot harder on myself because turns out if you press the run button, it's a lot easier to navigate frozen ropes, so whoops. <laughs> but also, isn't it amazing that a single screen level can uh, create the rainbow of emotions I went through while playing that game? Like, I think that is just mesmerizing. Like, and I feel like that is proof that that is art. Like, you've got artists out there who dedicate their whole life trying to bring forth in a single person a fraction of the emotions I went through with Young 38. You cannot deny that. That is a powerful thing that happened. I realize I just spoke for kind of a few minutes in front of the tile screen, so whoops, check it out! This is now the, this is now the prologue before the real video. <laughs> uh, so I'll take that as an opportunity to speak about, like, I think what we need to expect out of Yum 2, because it is a different beast than the one. Uh, when I first heard that they were relaxing on a whole garbage YouTube level, type level, at first, I thought it was a little bit weird, maybe a little upsetting, but I now realize that that makes a lot of sense. Basically, they already done that. They did the bad edit of levels that already exist. They did the take a normal level and just spam it with munchers randomly. It's already been done. There's no point in doing that again. And so they shifted focus a little bit and ended up with something which, which is a lot cleaner while still, you know, rain retaining the spirit of what is young. Or so I've heard. I haven't played it myself yet. Uh, I'm aware that, you know, it reaches the levels of Kaizo in terms of difficulty. And because of what I said, you know, of my praise of Yum the First, I am willing to get up there and confront Kaizo for myself for the sequel. Because it is important to me to play this game. 
I'm not saying I'm gonna do the whole thing without save state. Maybe at some point I'm gonna reach my limit and I'm gonna start to put saves around. I'm fine with that. Also, I've been playing, you know, hard ROM hacks for a while. Maybe it is time for me to approach a more Kaizo mindset and see how it goes. Maybe I'll like it. I don't know. I literally don't. So, let's find out, you know?